Okay, guys, this is the uh, point I've reached and get the inverter connected here. And I end up using my Nissan Leaf main disconnect. This is the main fuse disconnect from the Nissan Leaf. If you have already bought one or maybe you already opened one, you know what I'm talking about. It goes right here, right there. And that's how you do a quick disconnect. So I have the... Um, 30 amp disconnect uh, main breaker for RV you can see here I already made a, I think I made a video of these and these are uh, the specs you can see 125 125 volt 30 amps Midwest receptacle and I got the batteries already connected connect you can see it has a 30 amp breaker right there Midwest, I already done the connection. The neutral is already on that block and the, the black wires right there, the hot. So I use a 10 gauge wire. This is a 10. I don't know if you can see it. And I see a 10 AWG right there. So we're gonna lock this box because it's already has some it's hot right now so although the breaker is not on but I'm gonna <laughs> I have to treat it like it's hot already so you don't want to touch any wires so what I did I've done or whatever I end up buying one of these plugs is a 30 amp RV 30 amp and um, see that so I'm using 30 amp to 15 amp receptacle. Okay, so now we're gonna have this guy plugged in here. There you go. So you can able to do from 30 to 15 by connecting here. Just, ooh, let me just drop. So make sure it's correct. And what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna be showing the initial startup here as soon as I plug this guy. That will give you the inverter. You can hear the inverter raving the fans. So it's doing a initial test or diagnostic test. So you can see a little um, spark or arc on the side here. I think it's supposed to go the other way around. So just a quick disconnect, like I first said on the first video. So check this out. It's gonna give you that plunk arc arc right here so locked there you go the mate is already up the fans are raving I have a two hot cable here for 3500 watts 24 volts so we're gonna throw the cover up there and from there, we're gonna fire up this guy here and we are ready for business. From there, you're gonna see the power coming from the inverter and we're gonna charge these batteries all the way to the full. We replace the cover right here. There you go. It's in. You just have the screws tack in there, holding it temporarily. Yeah, so keep it this way just for safety reasons. And there goes the cover. We're gonna put it on top of this guy. Okay. Nice. Okay, now the cover is already in. Stays like this. This is how it's gonna look like because the vent is pumping the air out here the warm air so I already have the freezer uh, sorry the refrigerator uh, sorry the uh, fountain what about fountain and the uh, the heater or dispenser that's the word and I'm gonna initialize this breaker right here and stay tuned and see the power rush and how everything is gonna look like Right here at JW Solo USA, live in Minnesota. Check this out. Watch the power.
it's going five four three two bang it's on see that it reads like 400 watt it's pulling right now it works it works it's cool to the touch that's a long battery bank look at that